Hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing a game called Sea of Trees. This is by someone named Aaron Wise, I believe, and they worked with Vitus Games to create this. I think it was for a game jam, I'm not positive on that, but I do know it was created in 48 hours. So let's go, let's look at the instructions really quick. So it just looks like very basic um, controls, which is good because then they're familiar. Uh, the Misaka Mountains are one of the biggest forests in the world. Its area covers a staggering something. Um, on average, over 200 people go missing each year in the forest, making it the most deadly forest in the world. Uh, visitors are urged to stay to the strict markings to avoid getting lost, but adventurous people end up getting lost. Um, because of this, the forest has been aptly named... Sea of Trees. Okay, so that was a little bit fast. Maybe slow that down just a little bit. Um, I could just be a slow reader too. So that's probably part of it. Okay. The machine is on. 19 minutes to record. Hey, I um, don't know how to say this. Sorry, I'll just say it. I've been having issues, as you know, and it's just got to the point where I can't do this anymore. I want you to know that you've been great, probably the best thing that's ever happened to me, but there is something eating away at me that I can't deal with anymore. Please understand. Don't look for me. You won't find me. Take care of yourself. Okay. I better hurry up and find her. Um, so yeah, that loud clicking noise you heard was me turning up my volume because I couldn't hear anything. Let's go. So it sounded like... Maybe this person's girlfriend or something was leaving? I'm not sure. Um, so, so far this is very nice looking already. Um, again, this game was created in 48 hours. I'm always amazed that people can create something like this so quickly. Okay. Um, did I just... Okay. Hmm. So, I guess we're going this way. And it appears that we're looking for the person that called us. I think. This is very interesting because it's almost like an open world game. I wasn't expecting that at all. It's kind of impressive. Okay, so I actually have no idea where I'm going, or what I'm doing. I don't know if I stepped off a path or something, and I'm not even supposed to be here. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks like we found something. So I guess I wasn't really going the wrong way. Uh -huh. I wonder if she's gone this way. I better go check. So I guess we're going into a creepy ass cave. Sounds like a great idea. didn't look normal. Is this some voodoo? Voodoo type thing, maybe? And of course, uh, there's a full moon, so that's perfect, too. God damn it, where the hell could she be? Emily! Okay. So, that's super strange. I would not be comfortable here at all. 
We do all have our flashlight though, so that's good. Where is Emily? And why is she here? And what do we say? I have questions. Okay. <clears throat> so again, great, great visuals. I absolutely like uh, how this looks. It's very spooky. And I thought we were going into a cave, but apparently not. Or maybe we just went through it now we're on the other side. Um, are we stuck? Okay. seems to be pushing us over a little bit um <laughs> i'm probably lost like like always fun fact i get lost everywhere in real life i get lost in walmart <laughs> like even though i've been there like a hundred times okay come on emily where are you Okay. Um. What is this? <laughs> it's starting to get really hard to move. Uh. Okay, I thought that was a cave or something, but I guess not. This is a very weird place. Okay, so. I've been wandering around for a while, lost. I found another sign. I think that maybe I should have been looking for these signs all along. And following them, they probably indicate <laughs> that we're going the right way. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, what? Oh my god. Why didn't you just talk to me? <laughs> no. Is she dead? <clears throat> okay. Oh wow, we're we're carrying her now. Okay. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that, um to say the least. That took a really, uh, really dark turn. have a lot of commentary right now. I mean, it's just kind of a depressing moment in the game.
Oh no! Uh, did I break the game? Was that... Okay. Maybe not. Are we supposed to be down here? Under the water? I don't think that was supposed to happen, but... Who knows? I break every game I play. Honestly, I really do. It's very strange. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to happen. Or maybe it is. I really don't know. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like this is where we're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So that was Sea of Trees. Uh, very interesting. Made in 48 hours for the... Yeah, that game jam. Written by Aaron Lyons. Okay, and like I was saying, Vitus, which is a game creator who makes very, very good games. Alright, so... Hmm. Alright, so, I know I just said alright so twice, uh, I'm gonna read the, um, page description for you, um, hold on one moment. Okay, so according to the page on Itch.io, uh, the Foulmouth University Global Game Jam theme for this year was Lost and Found. I wanted to tell a story about pain and suffering because so many people go through this each day. Loss can mean many things, and to some people, it's the only escape. There are people around you who love you and care about you, and no matter what you are thinking or feeling, it is never the answer. Um, I have struggled with depression over the last year, and I have made many experiences in my life. I'm sorry, I have had many experiences in my life with death. So yeah, the game was clearly about, um, like, depression and death, um... Very, um, dark theme. Um, depressing. It's not what I was expecting at all. Uh, generally speaking, I just kind of, um, glance at the game that I'm going to play without reading much into it before playing it, because I want to be surprised. Uh, so that said, um, I've been trying to give a little bit more feedback to developers, uh, lately, just constructive criticism. Uh, again, I have no credentials in this, I'm just a nobody. But I think, you know, just the average game player or user can probably contribute to helping a developer um, evolve and become even better and make better games in the future. Um, I felt like while I was playing this game, I was a little bit lost. Like I really didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. That could be the fault of my own. Sometimes I'm just blind and I overlook things. I overlook paths where you're supposed to just obviously go down this path. I don't know if that's the case here. But a lot of the game just felt like, for me, like I was wandering without really knowing where I was going. And then um, the part towards the end, while we were carrying the woman's body, um, there was kind of like a canyon or something. And I dropped down into it, and then I was underwater. I don't think that was supposed to happen. So that was probably, for me, wandering off too far and going the wrong direction or something. Uh, but yeah, that could have been a bug or something. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, if you like this, click like. Uh, share it if you want to share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and just on a final note, I really did like this game, I thought it was very good, um, there was clearly a lot put into it, especially for 48 hours, uh, the graphics were very nice, the atmosphere was very moody, uh, and I just liked it, so, um, yeah, I'll be back soon with more horror games, okay? Peace.